This is a video presentation of an actual root canal procedure. It's meant to ease your fear of it and show you how simple of an experience it is in the hands of a root canal specialist. This patient is not an actress. Get you comfortable. Okay. Um, any questions before I start? Notice that the sterilization pouch is removed from each instrument at the start of treatment. Tiny pinch here, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. You feel anything? Mm -mm. Good. The key to a painless experience is profound anesthesia. Prior to the start of the treatment, the tooth is thoroughly tested to ensure a deep and comfortable level of local anesthesia. Yeah. It's going to make lots of noise Dr. here, okay? Miller, yeah, don't let it worry you. The patient's crown is removed. A dental dam is draped over the tooth to maintain a sterile working environment. Cindy, I need your help here. Plastic. This is a dental dam. Have you had this before? Mm-mm. It's going to drape over your tooth and keep the area sterile. Lots of pressure. No pain at all, okay? okay. Anything bothers you, just raise your left hand for me. Okay. You're going to hear some clicking sounds. That's perfectly normal. Okay, so it's all isolated. You can't talk to me like that, but please don't hesitate to raise your left hand if mm -hmm. you want to speak with me and tell me something, okay? Mm -hmm. Notice the digital x-rays on the monitor behind the microscope. These digital x-rays expose patients to significantly less radiation than conventional film. Digital x-rays also produce instant results, reducing the amount of time the patient spends waiting in the chair. Uh -huh. Any pain? Uh -uh. No feeling, okay? As we move forward, we'll be showing you images from the doctor's perspective through the surgical microscope. In Jennifer's case, there was deep tooth decay present which needs to be removed prior to the start of the procedure. The surgical microscope allows modern root canal treatments to be minimally invasive. Here the nerve, called the pulp, is exposed as anticipated. The nerve chamber is accessed and the nerve is extirpated or removed. So far so good? Yes? Huh? So far so good? Wow. Oh. A dressing known as RC prep is then added to help dissolve the tissue more easily. Hand files are used to scout the inside of the tooth and begin recontouring the canals from inside the roots. The files are used as electrodes to measure the length of the roots with the aid of a device called an electronic apex locator. This allows for extreme precision in measuring the length of the roots, thereby preserving healthy gum ligaments and minimizing post-operative discomfort. A sequence of rotary instruments is used to recontour the internal anatomy of the roots and remove the diseased tissue. This is what it looks like once the inside of the roots have been recontoured. I need two green or sixes. The and use of our microscope pressure. allows us to capture still images of your root canal procedure. We can then send these images as part of a final report to your restorative dentist, which helps them to better care for you in the future. The canals are then disinfected with a solution called sodium hypochlorite. As the solution rests, it will fully saturate the tooth. That, off go. We're going to sit here for about five minutes while your tooth is just getting saturated again. Mm -hmm. And then we'll continue. And you can close your mouth as much as you can. 
<laughs> Are you comfortable? <laughs> Cindy is here with you the whole time. If you need anything, let her know. She'll take care of you. Okay. okay? okay. I'll see you soon. Okay, so let's pick up where we left off. I'm gonna rinse it out and close it up and off you go. Note how uh, comfortable Jennifer is and, and how calm her body language has been throughout the procedure. For our next step, we use absorbent paper points to remove the solution from the canals prior to the sealing process. Let me have the green of six cutter pressure. The colored material you will see in a moment is the final filling that will seal the roots. Called gutta percha, here the material is being measured for a precise fit in each of the three canals. Ready? So nice. Cement is used with the gutta percha to seal the canals. Any excess material is sectioned away. A process known as warm vertical technique is used to melt the sealant and gutta percha mixture into the irregularities that characterize each individual canal. Additional cement is used as necessary to ensure that the sealing process is complete. Melted gutta percha is injected to fill in any remaining space in the canal. A temporary restoration is placed over the access opening to the tooth. Almost done here, okay. Mm -hmm. This will conclude the root canal procedure. Forceps. At this point, post-operative x-rays will be used to document the success. Have a Patients at this stage must return to their restorative dentist. This dentist will restore the chewing surface of the tooth with either a final filling or a crown depending on what will be best for each tooth. Why don't you rinse your mouth? Go ahead. You're done for today. We just have to take one or two x-rays, okay? All right, so we're going to take one x-ray and actually two x-rays and we're done. Can I understand, sir, please? I just have to confirm that it looks exactly what I think it is. And if I'm happy with it, you're done. Just a second longer. Looks very good. Last one. Go ahead. So this is your tooth on the right side. Um, this is before, that's after. Okay. These are the roots of your tooth. Inside the root there's a canal space. The canal has been filled in. There were three of them here. There's a temporary fitting under your crown. So this is the beginning of the crown. The crown is over here, actually. Okay. There's a piece of cotton that separates that. Uh, That's in there permanently? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little confusing. Uh, uh, when you go back to your dentist, it's going to take the crown off again. It's going to take the temporary off. He'll take the cotton out, and then he'll find out where he should stop. It's like when you put a cast on your hand, there's a layer of cotton underneath that. Um, he'll build that back up with a core material. It's called the core buildup and then your crown goes on permanently on it with permanent cement. Okay. So, what do you think? How was it? It was fine. Well, did you have any pain? Were you comfortable? Was it anything like what you thought it was going to be? 
No, it was better than what I thought it was going to be. Okay. You all done? All right. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. If a patient does not have a restorative dentist, we typically introduce them to a reputable dentist in the area. We make sure that all the records and x-rays are sent over once the patient notifies us that he or she has scheduled an appointment.